You dick! Oh! Whoa. Ow. Fuck off. Ah, come on. Ah. Come on, you. Bastard. Thief, everybody. Look at me being sneaky. With my retractable... Uh, cudgel. Well, we got fucked. Anyway. Now that we've dealt with the heel biters, or most of them, who are annoying bastards anyway that don't stop chalk talking, talking about Jebediah chokes at all. I think they're glitched. I've never seen that lighthouse before. Anyway, regardless, the Sirens Race is where we're going to meet. Is it Vittori? I think they just thought they'd stick an ethnic name in there. We need a European name. Why not Zoidberg? Tell me this isn't Vittori. He's the bloody penguin out of Batman. Oh, oh good sir. <clears throat> I, uh, uh, perhaps uh, you can help me. Yes, I am the great Vittori, conductor <laughs> of curiosities, the wrangler of wonder. Everybody has heard of the Vittoris from Eater of Pies. Illyria. Illyria. Well, that's a real place. Sounded nothing like you. What? Your um, accent slipping. It's Illyrian horsehair, at least. It's for show. Performance, Sarah. The performance is everything you should know. Look at you, hey? What are you trying to say? No? I heard you were looking for help. Terrible times. First, the watch impounded my ship. And then some ruffians snuck onto my boat and made off with my finest attractions. I'm not a zookeeper. I'm not going looking for your bloody lions in the streets. No, I don't. Actually, wait. Now you mention it, you'd be quite the draw. The ladies. I'm not again, and I won't be doing it. I wasn't volunteering. Ah, quite. Well, I need you to help restore my livelihood if you would. What do you say? Be a pip. Now, the first item I'm missing. A talking skull with the power of prophecy. If you a remarkable lying, curiosity. Tell me, friend, do you wish to know the future? I find this skull and you pay me lots of coin. Ha! Excellent, Sirrah. The skull itself would be impressed. Lots is such a strong word, but a reasonable amount, to be sure. Steal it back from the scoundrels who stole it in the first place Over and... Here. Well, I have something for it's you. poetic justice. And it'll be even more poetic when I keep it. Oh, your kindness would bring a man to tears, sir. They'll tell stories about you, Sirrah, I'm sure. Wherever would a man of low morals auction an ill-gotten prophetic skull? I know just the place. The black market. I have something that might interest you. Okay, the black market then. This is a strange place. It's one of these... Are you a vendor? What does that mean? Is that, a, is that a no? You wave your arms around me, you dick. Well, what is a carnival with no attractions, eh? A fat man in a leather coat with a fake mustache, apparently. Over here. I have something for you. Oh, I have something for all your nefarious needs. I have something for all. All of them. Yes, needs. I know. I've met you before. I think I've met your brother. We um. Don't need anything. Uh, you don't know a good thing when you see it. You're a twat in a duffel coat. Fuck joke. off. The worst kind. All right. I think we're going the right way. Maybe. So a talking skull, eh? Come on then, let's see it. See what now? The oracle, you drunk bastard. Oh. Shh. I didn't Quiet. bring it with me, did I? Man should never do his business in the, in the, in the hands he eats with. It's stashed away, nice and safe. It's to grave holes. I'll give you till the clock tower strikes to bring it here. 
Otherwise, find another mug to pawn your stuff onto. No need to kick up a fog about it. I'll be on my way. Lenny, not the first time I've stolen from the master drunk. I'll make it another for the road. How's a man to open a door? The handle keeps moving round. Let me help you with that, Lenny. Machines. Yes, it is. It's a called a door handle. A uh, moving door that? handle. In you come, lad. Come on, it's your old pal Garrett. Surviving the gloom will build character, I'm sure. There's a good lad. In you come. Left foot, right foot. <coughs> Excellent. Boys, it's me. <laughs> old Lenny's come for me. <laughs> He's like the gloom, only the old crew more painful. Together again, Rooks, Teats, how long's it been? About three hours, by my reckoning, legend. <laughs> but huh? Oh, time just slips through your fingers, don't it? Let's drink. To old acquaintances, or till the bottles run dry. Oh, well, they're already dry by the signs of it. Anyone got a match? Uh, this tastes quite peculiar. Is it vintage? Nope. It's the one you pissed in last time you were here. <laughs> <laughs> I need a light, boys. Well, they're not very good acquaintances, are they, Lenny? Another swig to wash down the last one. A light, Anyone you say? Listening? I need a flame. Flame. You're the boss. I wanted a flame, not the apocalypse. It must have been that pickled idiot. Sorry, Lenny, your uh, acquaintances are otherwise engaged at the minute. Well, you boys seem kind of busy, God for time. Lenny, fine, I'll just be on my way. <laughs> That's it, Lenny, let's go. Come on, keep it moving. Good lad. <laughs> Saw a drunk man with the gloom. Me, I never had anything except for black toes. Doc, I says, put your knife away. They don't stick any worse than normal. <laughs> sure enough, they came off by themselves. Didn't cost to pay. Oh. Lovely. <coughs> oh, sir, I'm all cold and lonely with this lockdown. And oh, it's you. Rosie, Rosie, won't you let down your hosey? <laughs> oh. What do you say, Rosie? Wanna go around? I'm starting to like Lanny, to be honest. Royal Topness himself made it law. <coughs> I can't pay right now, but put it on the tap. You know I'm good for it. Stick an eel down your pants, they're not choosy. Ah, who's that next to you, your sister? We could all get introduced. Get off, will you, Lenny? You're scaring away my real customers. Oh, hello. Oh. It's time for a little stealing. A fine piece. What about now? No, what have I got to do to get him to move on? Rosie? Lenny, she's not going to change her mind. I have to do something about this, pal. Save you the embarrassment. I just don't know how. Aha. What does this do? Oh. <laughs> Where'd she go? Uh, never you mind, Lenny. Just get moving. If She's fine. If you wanted me to go, you could have just kicked me in the hammers like you usually do. I may have killed her. Are covered in shit. No, I didn't kill Lenny. her. <coughs> Lenny, some girls would charge extra for what I'm going to do to you when I get out of this mess. If you get out of this mess, someone's licked the frogging gate. Lock the frigging gate. Why? Right. Maybe I lock the frigging gate. Oh, Lanny! Well, I can't climb it. <coughs> you so crazy! Might tear my hammer pouch. 
It's already itching worse than this late rash. I think I'll sit out here for a spell. I said, you go up to the gate and I let you in. If I can. And he's falling asleep. <laughs> really? Oh, Lenny. Right, let's get you home. Come on. We'll get your nightshirt on, and then I'll steal the crystal skull. And everybody will be happy. There you Man, go, Lenny. Oh, <laughs> <well. laughs> Should we go on, Lenny? Eyes on the road. It's me, Lenny! Open up, will you? Keep your friggin' voice down! You want every snitch and lifter to know we're here? Let them! Try to get past old Lenny! If they can step over your drunk bag of bones, I think they'll manage! Stopping arrows is all you're good for! I'm sure he has great balance with no toes busy. on his feet. Out of my way. I'm on busyness. Most important. Uh-huh. Ugh. The night I've had, I need a drink. <coughs> Shadowing Lenny is a job in itself. But he finally led me back to his gang. No, what's our best way in? Through the front door, maybe? I'll try here first. Lenny, you better have found a buyer for the crack you keep coming back with, or you'll be going swimming with it. But I can't swim. That's the whole point, you idiot. All those boats caught up in the lockdown, and you live from the circus wreck. Who's gonna buy that shit? Reminds me of your grand idea when you broke into the taxidermist place. Did I ever tell you when I was a god at Duke Thornburns? Fat old bastard collected stuffed bears. Got surprised by one once. Took a stab at it. Lenny, the merchandise. What's your plan? Ah, uh, yeah. Made a deal for the skull with Robbie Box down at Stripler's. I'd be glad to see it gone. Creepy things, skulls. You ever think about how we all got one under our faces? Wow. Trickster, help me Lenny your one dumb shovel. Trickster? How much? How much? A throwback. Coin, Lenny. Coin. Oh, you need to borrow some change. Thing is, Bernie, I'm kind of sure. You're weaving a now big wad of cash around your dick. How much coin did Robbie Pox offer you for the frigging skull? Ah, good coin, good coin. Tested it with my own teeth. Bit down on a gold piece once, but right through. Thing was made. So help me, Lenny. I swear I'm going to bury you in a ditch and dance on it with your mother if you don't pay attention. Hey, don't talk about my mother that way. I was a favorite. Kill me now if there's more of you. Good old mum. She could drink all the men in the village under the table. Explains a lot. <laughs> yeah. I come from a big family. Lots of us. Six boys. Mum was a tower of strength back then. Breastfed every one of us. Said it made us what we are today. Explains a lot more. Likes her liquor, does she? Ah, we all do. Runs in the family. I've had enough of this. Finish your drink and then go spit and shake on this deal. No, what are our objectives now that we're in? Two co What's a combat take time when it's at home? I believe I'm going to do a quick save. Combat takedowns? I don't think we want to tempt fate with that. Shush. Pay no heed, Lenny. The old biters used to mean something. New boys aren't fit for sloop. Alright, we'll check downstairs first. Actually, there's several downstairs. 
first we'll go this way. And into the auto save cabin of joy. There we are. Aye. I'll say to her, it's my way. It's your way or what? Getting hit in the beak. That's what. Did I get detected then? No, no I didn't. Lean on the stuff, I want to check it for loot. Hmm, I can put a rope arrow there, but I wonder where it goes. Oh, nice. Not even locked. Just criminals to be idiots. Yoink. No, should we try? I'm gonna quick save. Should we try a combat takedown? I don't know what way it's gonna go, but we'll see. In theory, I can shoot him in the knee and then cue him to death. Well, not to death, but to unconsciousness. Here we go. Don't spot me. No, that didn't work. Did it work? It may have done. No, no, it did not. But he didn't detect me either. He is going to wake up with a very bloody knee, however. <laughs> I used to be a petty thug like you, until I took an arrow to the knee. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. It's disgusting and it's never been funny, but I have to make the reference. Don't I? No idea what that was. It looked small. It's like a potato, a gold potato peeler. That's what I'm going to say it is. Because I can't tell. You better not start talking when I free you and annoy everybody. Or I'll have to smash you up. Because I've smashed up several people tonight. Living people. Some horrible cursed skull. This does look like it belongs in Vittori's act. Except the skull's genuine. What do you mean it's genuine? The stranger you will meet and see will tall and dark and handsome be. Well... <laughs> are you fucking with me, Mr. Skull? Don't toy with my heart like that. Okay, I think we're pretty much... <laughs> Golden. I just want to have a quick look and see if Lenny's got anything on him or if there's anything more. Doesn't look like he's got anything on him. Let me just leave him in peace. We haven't been up this staircase, I'm not sure if there's anything. We'll have a really quick look and then we're away. We probably also didn't check in here. Oh, we definitely didn't check in here. Now, what do we have here? We have been here, though. Alright, Lenny. 
It's very nice doing business with you. You'll feel right as rain in the morning. Of someone higher and have the riches. Okay, you need to stop talking now. <laughs> is somebody up there? What um. riches? Lenny, is that you? <laughs> I'm glad you think this is amusing, you ass. Oh, Rosie. Hello? Anyone? Don't worry, somebody will be along soon, I'm sure. Maybe. <laughs> To better understand yourself, look first to wisdom, not to wealth. <laughs> yeah, no wonder you're laughing. He doesn't look like he's got much of either. I'll help you understand who I am, Looks like Basil's got competition for the biggest mouth in the city. I trust him to tell my fortune more than this thing, though. Hey, Amen. Nice. Talking skulls all round. Came back. Excellent. Top job returning my skull, Sirrah. The stranger you will meet and see will tall and dark and handsome be. <laughs> Uncanny. It already said that one. Then it's twice yeah. the truth. You really support. should join the show, sir. I can imagine it now. The Dark Archer. I'm thinking carnival owner disappears. Ah, Mr. Thief, you return victorious. Excellent. You are good. Are you sure I can't tempt you into the carnival? You're buying. The legend in leather? Mm hmm. It's always good to see you, Mr. Thief, but I'm still awaiting news. Be sure to come back later. 